Welcome to Flash Tutorial Request 23, Moving City Background. This is similar to a tutorial I did on a moving landscape. I'm going to start with a new FLA. And layer one, I'm going to call Buildings. And select frame one. And here I'm going to pick this thing called the Deco Tool. It's right below the pencil. Open up the Properties panel. Click here on one that says Buildings. Building Brush. See it right here. And let's make the brush size th about three for now. And I'm going to start with the Skyscrapers one. Closing this panel. And I got that little paint bucket. Start from the bottom and I'm making a skyscraper. There it is. Don't worry about those little top things. We'll straighten them out in a minute. And let's make a couple of them. Two. Three. Okay, let's do those three for now. And this is what I want to do. Select them. My selection tool. Go up to modify. Transform. And flip them vertically. And that puts these lines down the bottom. Do the same thing here. Modify. Transform flip it vertically this one modify transform and flip it vertically now if I take those one at a time and put them down here one and then this one two select this one and move it over here and try to keep them relatively straight. Now what you can do is you can select the, like see how I select the top of this one. I just clicked on it and this comes around. Pick up your free transform tool and you can bring it in like that if you want. Make a different size. We'll do this one and bring it in like that and like that. So that's those buildings. I'm going to lock that layer and I'm going to do something similar. B U L D buildings, small buildings. This time I'm going to select the decal tool and I'm going to go to the second skyscrapers. They're a bit different. There's one, two, and select it. Move it over here. You can put it over the top like that because this. As you go up in layers, you go in front of other things. And let's put that there like that. And let's do the same with this one here with the free transform tool. Put it like that. So you can see that we're getting something happening here. Lock that layer. Another layer. B U L D three, my third layer. Select frame one, deco tool, go down to these skyscrapers. Let's make this a little smaller to work with 50%. There it is. Make this a real tall one here. And let's flip it. Modify. And the reason I flip it because they got those things on top and I don't know what, what they're supposed to be. And I can highlight it. Bring it down here. And I'm going to do this one. Sort of like the Empire State Building. Where I'm going to bring it in both sides. On that one. Right small. Let's go back to 200% just to do this. Then click this section here. Bring it in here like that. And I like that. Back to 50%. Let's pick up one more of these buildings here with the deco tool highlight it flip it and I'm going to make this a skinnier version see that I just made a skinnier with my free transform tool and you can continue to make these these buildings 
and or you can choose to do this unlock all the layers either do this or right click here select all then do a get on here with those cross here right click copy lock these layers new layer right click paste in place and if I'm using my arrow keys I can move that over like that it's a city then I'm going to come here unlock them all again right click select all again get the crosshairs copy lock all the layers pick up another layer paste in place and now I have all these buildings I'm just using my arrow keys to do that over and I'm going to stop it somewhere here like that uh, no that looks too much like the other one there like that and I'm going to do that once more put it down to 25 percent I'm going to do that once more unlock them all right click select all get the crosshairs copy lock all the layers put in a new layer and right click paste it in place and now use my arrow keys move it over now yours may go a lot faster than this I don't have a whole lot of RAM so I think that's a problem so now I got this great big long thing okay come up here now this is what we want to do unlock them all right click select all this is very important select all get the crosshairs right click copy now lock all those layers and hide them see this eyeball hide them select that top layer insert a layer select frame one paste in place and now these layers delete all those other layers delete 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 and delete so there's all the buildings on one layer now and I'm going to select frame one they're all selected if not you can do the right click select all and what I'm going to do is use my free transform tool right click select all and I know I got my free transform tool because I see those little th and I'm going to make this a little taller and I'm going to make it a little wider so I'm just pulling it making it wider right click select all and let's look in the properties panel for a minute and we can see the width here that's how wide it is mine's 27 let's make it 3000 three zero 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 and we can leave the height I'm leaving my height around yeah I'm gonna leave that for my height lock this layer and call this buildings B U I L D as in buildings lock it pick up the rectangle tool I have a gray for my stroke and I have a for my stroke and I have a darker gray for my fill and rectangle tool that little pencil tell me I don't have a layer selected so insert a layer call this sidewalk with my rectangle tool again get right on here and draw your sidewalk and make this little line like that pick up your selection tool highlight it make sure only one layer is unlocked open the properties panel and we know this has got to be 3000 long and it says 12 high okay I'm gonna go with that and now if we could look at it you see now it's as long as that is get the crosshairs right click copy 
come down here paste in place now you have two of them and just tab it down a little bit and there's going to be my sidewalk lock that layer insert a layer call it street s t r e e t i want no stroke on my street and i want this gray right here for my fill pick up my rectangle tool and draw a rectangle right here use my selection tool highlight it open my properties panel and I want this to be 3000 all right so there's my my city let's lock all those layers let's insert a layer call it sky s K Y and I know if I click here that my stage is 550 by 400 so I want a rectangle I don't want any stroke but I want a light blue fill I'll go with that one and I'm just gonna make a rectangle I'm going to highlight it open the properties panel and make sure this is unlocked. I'm going to make it 550 by 400. That's the size of my stage. And here's something called the alignment tool. If it isn't here, click here under window and click alignment and it'll open right here. Click it. But mine is here. And make sure there's a check mark in here and click this one and this one. And you see what happens. I cover up my stage with that. Click on that sky layer and drag it so it's behind them now. While it's still highlighted, and if it isn't hi highlighted, pick up your selection tool and highlight it. Open up this modify, convert it to a symbol. Don't let that frighten you. It's very simple. Call it sky, S K Y underscore M C. Say OK. And I want to do that because I want to do something special with it. And if I didn't do that, I wouldn't be able to. Now, unlock the, the, top, the top three layers. Unlock them. And let's make this about, depending on how long you want this to run, would be where, how far we're going to go up. We're running 24 frames a second. Uh, if we went 10 seconds, that would be 240 frames. So 240 times 2 is four, around 480. I'm going to go up around 480 with this anyway. And I think that's going to be around uh, 20 seconds. And see what I did? And I'm going to, well, they're all, they're all highlighted. Right-click, Insert Keyframes. That brings all them up there. So now, come down here, right-click, Select All and use your arrow keys and I'm using my left arrow and I'm moving that over that's going to be slow because I don't I don't have a lot of RAM mine's gonna be real jerky if you hold the shift down you can do it and and hit the arrow key you do it in bigger chunks we're getting there now I have only a few buildings you can make a lot of different buildings I have a very similar patterns but I'm just trying to get this tutorial as short as it can be and come to about there and stop that's good click in here right click create classic tween right here create classic tween right here create classic tween click on this bottom layer lock all the layers unlock the sky layer click this last frame right click insert a keyframe and there's my sky pick up your selection tool make sure it's highlighted open the properties panel down here there should be something called color effects open that click tint there see what I have I have 85 percent I have 59 on the red 16 on the green and 83 on the blue and I got that dark sky come up here right click classic tween and now my sky should change colors as this 
Okay, let's test it. Test movie test. It runs, it starts a nice blue sky. Your cars will be on here or whatever you have here moving. And the sky's gonna get darker and darker and darker. And I think I made it for 20 seconds, but you can just shorten that or lengthen it, depends on what you need. You can see the sky's getting darker. I'm going to cut and start it back up because it's quite long. I'm turning it back on and you can see the sky is almost black there. Now, let's start, start it over there. Now, if you want it shorter, you just don't take as many time frames, naturally. If you want it longer, you take more time frames. So now let's do one more thing. Instead of it coming to the end and then just jumping immediately back to the beginning, let's give it about, oh, let's go up to, in my case, 510, select all these frames, and right-click and insert keyframes. So that means there'll there'll be this time after they it moves that it just stops and sits there and not moves. Let's test this once more to see that it stops at the end. I'm going to turn this off and start it up again when I get closer to the end. I'm back on. You can see the sky is getting pretty dark, which means we're getting close to the end of the motion. It's getting darker now. And it just sits there. Now, you don't need to have those frames there on the end. That's up to you. Hope you learned something from this tutorial, and I hope you use what you learned.